Ford CEO made huge mistakes. Leading one of the world's largest and most iconic car manufacturers is no easy feat, and with great power comes great responsibility. However, as we all know, even the most accomplished and experienced leaders can make mistakes, and Farley is no exception. As the CEO of Ford, Farley has a big responsibility to make the right decisions that keep the company on track and successful. However, over the past couple of years, there have been some significant missteps that have caused some serious setbacks for Ford. What mistakes did he make? Will he get fired? Stay tuned to find out the answers. The automaker has been ranked well below average in the Consumer Reports annual reliability study because Ford has suffered a substantial drop year over year. Several models such as the Ford F-150 Power Boost, Ford Mustang Mach-E and Ford Bronco Sport have lost their recommended status, while the Ford Explorer ranked among the 10 least reliable vehicles. Analysts suggest that Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, is responsible for the automaker's recent quality woes. The issues are not limited to a specific vehicle or area, but rather a number of problems have been popping up in recent months. Farley's leadership decisions, including taking the focus of present quality to concentrate on the future, led to Ford's lack of attention to current quality challenges. Ford has taken steps to rectify its ongoing quality issues, including making quality a focus in its operations. However, Farley is not very optimistic about the company's ability to overcome these problems. Before we talk about other huge mistakes made by Ford CEO, make sure to hit that like button if you are enjoying this video. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's return to the video now. Okay, so the giant car maker was facing quality issues because it was focused on EVs. You might think that for a company as big as Ford, it would not take a long time to fix these quality issues. Well, you would be wrong. Maybe Jim Farley was just trying to be honest, but one of his biggest blunders was when he said that fixing Ford's quality problems would take a long time. He added that the Ford cars did not lose their caliber in just one or two years. It took much longer than that, and that is why fixing this will take time. Another big issue for the company is the cost of production. The car producer wants to cut costs quickly, but if they don't change the way they engineer, supply and manufacture their cars, the inefficiencies will come back. According to Ford's CFO, the company has a cost disadvantage of $7 to $8 billion. This is due to material costs, warranty costs and structural costs. It seems like Ford is in big trouble and needs to make major changes in how the company operates its business. There are rumors that Ford employees are unhappy and the company's organizational structure is terrible. The CEO admits that there are deep-rooted issues that have been tough to fix and they need to deal with those issues urgently. Now, you would think that the CEO might work on some strategies and come up with some sort of plan to cut costs, but that is not what most companies are doing today. They just fire the employees. Farley has recently suggested that job cuts may be on the horizon as the company looks to streamline processes and reduce costs. Farley has indicated that there may be excess employees in some areas and that certain jobs and skills are no longer relevant. Despite a 50% increase in second quarter sales compared to last year, Ford is not satisfied with its cost and is seeking to make changes to become more competitive. With plans to manufacture around 2 million EVs per year by 2026, the company needs significant funds to achieve its goals, and Farley recognizes that the complex internal structure of the company may be a challenge. While Farley has acknowledged the need to cut back, he has not yet outlined the process or timeline for doing so. This has made Ford employees even more unhappy, and they are now worried about their jobs. Nowadays, employees are worried that they might wake up one day and see an email on their phones which say that they have been fired. Something like that happened to Twitter employees recently. So, by not revealing the proper timeline of job cuts, Farley has created tension in the workspace. Now, when we say quality issues, what kind of issues are we talking about? In 2020, Ford issued a recall for around 2.5 million of its vehicles in North America, citing issues with the door latch and brake assembly. This was the year when Jim Farley was appointed as the CEO. The recall affected several popular models, including the Ford F-150 pickup truck and the Ford Escape SUV. 
The door latch issue affected the vehicle's rear doors, which sometimes failed to latch properly, increasing the risk of injury in the event of a crash. There was also an issue with hydraulic braking systems, which could cause the brake pedal to suddenly go to the floor, increasing the risk of a collision. Two years later, in 2022, Ford has become the most recalled automaker in the United States for the second year in a row, according to reports from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. In 2022, Ford was responsible for 8.6 million recalls. The company has blamed the pandemic-related supply chain disruptions for the increase in recalls. According to Ford, Problems during the pandemic made it challenging to identify and rectify defects in a timely manner. The majority of Ford's recalls in 2022 were related to safety issues, with problems including faulty airbags, defective brakes, and malfunctioning seatbelts. The company has said that it takes these issues seriously and is committed to ensuring that its vehicles are safe for consumers to use. To this end, Ford has invested heavily in research and development to improve the quality and safety of its products. It is surprising that despite the high number of recalls, Ford has remained a popular choice for American consumers thanks to its reputation for producing high quality and reliable vehicles. The company has also been praised for its commitment to sustainability, with a focus on producing more eco-friendly cars in the coming years. However, the number of recalls is very high and if the CEO fails to reduce these numbers, Ford might lose its reputation completely in the car making industry. In 2022, Jim Farley faced criticism after the company hiked the price of its electric pickup trucks. The increase was due to the rising cost of raw materials and semiconductor chips used in the production of cars. The Ford F-150 Lightning lineup saw price increases. The XLT now starts at $59,474, up from $52,974, while the Lariat has increased to $74,474 from the previous price of $67,474. The top trim Platinum also got more expensive, starting at $96,874, which is $6,000 more than before. Now, it is true that there is a huge market for pickup trucks in the USA, but tell me, do you think that an average American would be able to afford a vehicle that expensive? The move disappointed consumers who were excited about the electric pickup truck but found themselves unable to afford them. Farley addressed this issue and said that the company is working towards making electric vehicles accessible and affordable for everyone. But he also stated, and I quote, I don't think there's going to be much relief on lithium, cobalt, and nickel anytime soon. Farley was consistently trying to improve the company, but things are not really going according to his plan. In the third quarter of 2022, Ford's attempt to invest in self-driving vehicles resulted in a significant financial loss of $2.7 billion. Farley admitted that the company should have done better. He acknowledged that the company had faced several challenges, including supply chain disruptions and increased raw material costs, and also admitted that Ford has not responded as well as it could have. Farley also acknowledged that Ford had been slow to embrace the shift towards electric and autonomous vehicles. Now, do you know what happened when Toyota fell behind in the EV race because of the CEO? He had to step down from his position. Even though Ford is now heavily investing in these areas to catch up with competitors, do you think that Farley will have a similar fate to the former Toyota CEO? Will the giant automaker manage to maintain its reputation in the future, or will it become a car brand that people would want to avoid? Tell me what you think in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Live Cell channel so that you don't miss any videos from us in the future.